Hey everybody, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of a follow-up from my shaving cream tumbler tutorial. So if you have not seen my shaving cream tumbler tutorial, be sure to check that out. So if you didn't see it, I have the link posted in my description below. If you did, let's go ahead and get started on saving this tumbler. This tumbler is definitely a mess as you can see. So let's see if I'm able to maybe fix it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be placing alcohol ink. I'm going to be using Tim Holtz slate alcohol ink on this tumbler. So I'm going to be taking my makeup wedge, it's a little sponge wedge, and then just placing it on the sponge. Um, so then we're just going to blot this on the tumbler like so, just like I would the other alcohol ink tumbler. And if you want to, let's go ahead and just do it this way and then blot it. So I'm just going to blot this randomly on the tumbler. I'm applying a lot of ink and then a little bit of ink wherever I think the ink needs to go. So make sure you're getting the bottom and then I'm just going to turn it and I'm just trying to do this really quick for y'all. Again, this is an experiment, so I don't know how this is going to go. This might be a flop and it might not be a flop. And I do have some black alcohol ink over here that I was using, so I'm going to, um, place this makeup wedge inside the black alcohol ink and kind of put black alcohol ink here as well. So you're gonna see a couple of tones. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my 91% alcohol. Make sure you're using 91 or 99% alcohol for this. I guess 71% alcohol would do okay for this um, as long as you have alcohol. And then I'm going to take that and then I'm going to just spray my tumbler. So I have my alcohol right here. I'm just going to take my alcohol and just kind of drench it. You can see how the inks are running down and around and I'm just going to kind of take my cup and just set it down like so. So I'm just setting it right side up and then I'll show you how it will look here soon. And then now what you see is a big fat mess, which that's all right. I'm going to go in with my slate again and just kind of pat that anywhere. So I'm just going to pat it around like so. And then I'm actually going to take some white as well and put some drips of white on here. So I'm using pinata white, nothing special. And then I'm just moving it with my hand and I'm letting that alcohol ink go wherever it wants. And then I'm going to spray it again with my alcohol. And then, oops, I just touched it. And then I'm just going to spray more alcohol on here. So you could see everything leaking. I'm going to get rid of these little leaks I don't like the little the little running alcohol ink, so I'm just going to blot it and then just kind of repeat that process. You can see the little leaks. That's actually really cool. I think I'm going to leave that if that stays that way because everybody knows um, it never works out how you think it's going to work out. So I'm just blotting around. You can see it's already kind of making a cool effect here. So what I'm going to do now is just repeat that process. So I'm putting my slate back on here. I'm taking my um, my sponge or my whatever you wanna use. I'm using a makeup wedge. If you use a sponge, that's okay. I'm just gonna add that right here in the center because where this is purple, that's where um, I added that spray of alcohol. So you can leave that. If you do have one like that, you can leave it blank. I'm gonna add the white. So I'm just going to add it anywhere around the tumbler. It doesn't have to already have alcohol ink. This tumbler is completely dry right now. So I'm adding this to the bare tumbler. I'm not adding it to any wet spots or anything. And then I'm adding the black right now. You could see, oop, I added a lot of black. <laughs> you could see everything kind of dripping. That's okay. And then I'm going to add some white to this black just to kind of even it out there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my alcohol again, my 91% alcohol, and just spray the tumbler. And I'm trying to keep it right side up and down. So if it does drip, it drips up and down. So I'm just drenching this tumbler. And you notice there's a lot of black right here. 
So I'm just gonna add that white on here as well. And it's going to make that nice design. Let it drip down, let it do its thing. And then we'll see how this turns out. So all that black took over, so I'm going to take that white and just kind of put that on the black. So I don't want a whole, I don't want a black tumbler. I could just spray paint it black if I want a black tumbler. And then go to those spots and then spray where that white is. So the black again took over over here, so I'm just going to go to those spots and spray that white. You can see that white blends with that black now. And then more white. And then that black really took over. So if we learn anything today is don't add too much, uh, don't add too much black. So you can see, now this is all alcohol ink and alcohol. So I have no epoxy on here. So I just happened to add that alcohol ink on that wet epoxy, or I'm sorry, on that wet tumbler where I added the alcohol and that's what it made. So I didn't spray it again. So you can see, I can see this is still wet. So I'm going to add just a drip of the alcohol and just let that run. Let it run whichever way you want it to run. So the purple really got covered up a lot on this tumbler, which is okay because I accidentally made a boo-boo, which turned into a beautiful mess. I accidentally uh, added too much alcohol ink, that black alcohol ink, and it kind of took over. Just gonna add some of top here and just let that drip wherever it wants to drip. And I'm trying not to touch my tumbler. I usually work with a uh, tumbler arm and a football arm on here, but I didn't for this tumbler because I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I hope you guys got that concept. I just kind of winged this. I just added alcohol ink and then 91% alcohol. That's all you need. And it gives it a nice storm effect. I actually really like this tumbler. Um, this turned out really cute. Now what I don't like is the black taking over. So I'm going to spray this tumbler again and add a little bit more white. So just kind of play with it. And you can see the white just going down. And then it just fades right down in there. So I'm going to kind of connect these two. You can see these two little clouds. I guess they're clouds. I just connected them just to make it kind of look more, more white than more black. So if you want to uh, maybe cover up this spot, um, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of black on my makeup wedge instead of adding it on there because I don't want it to really take over too much. And then I'm going to spray it. You guys can see, I'm like, what am I gonna do? And then I'm going to put my white to kind of go down. And then it's gonna go wherever, which way it wants to go. And then I'm just gonna let it fall. And the great thing about alcohol ink and alcohol is that y'all know it dries so quickly. So this is amazing. And if I plan this better, like the next time I do this tumbler, it's probably going to be a little less sloppy. Again, this is my first time doing this. I just wanted to see if I can salvage that cup. And I think I did. Okay guys, uh, I am back with my tumbler. It's dried. I have some epoxy here. I have about 10 mLs of epoxy. That's 5 mL part A and 5 mL part B. I'm going to be using Magic Dust from Glitter Heart Co. And I'm going to be adding it to my epoxy. So all I do is take a little, um, a little bit and I just pour it right inside of the cup or maybe a lot because I have a heavy hand. And then we're just going to stir inside of the epoxy just to make sure it all kind of mixes in there. And then I'm just going to apply the epoxy to my tumbler like I would any other tumbler. Once I've applied my epoxy to my tumbler, I'm going to let my tumbler spin on the cup turner for about five to six hours. After five or six hours, I will then turn off the cup turner and let it uh, air dry or air cure for another 18 to 19 hours. So I like to have these tumblers um, all dried or cured um, in 24 hours. You can see I added a lot of glitter 
my heavy handed self just added too much, but that's okay. The more glitter, the better. And I am just adding a very thin coat. So I have all of this glitter, this epoxy left over. So it looks like I only use five milliliters of epoxy for this because I'm going to be adding that decal. Once I add a decal, then I'm going to be adding my thicker coat of epoxy. So I'm going to let this spin on the cup turner, turn it off, and then I'll see y'all whenever this tumbler is completely cured. Welcome back everybody. My tumbler is completely cured. It has been sitting for about 25, 26 hours and you can see how beautiful this tumbler turned out. The magic dust mixed with that epoxy is so pretty. I love that holographic hue that it gives. I will be honest, this isn't how I expected this tumbler to turn out, but that doesn't mean it's ugly. I really love how everything turned out. I know that black kind of took over on this tumbler, but it kind of looks like a starry night sky. So the only thing left with this tumbler is to place a decal on it and then put that uh, last coat of epoxy over that decal. After you place the epoxy over the decal, that's whenever you can clean up the inside of the tumbler. If you need any assistance with that, be sure to check out my description below. I do have a lot of help tutorials for all my beginner crafters. In the comments, let me know how you like this tumbler and how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for my channel for more tumbler and craft videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.